Hi, I'm Rainer and welcome to my train room. Today I thought I would do a video about uh, LED lighting and how I end up doing it on my layout. Now, last few videos I've done, um, actually a number of videos if you go back, I've talked about how I put LED lighting in the buildings and then in my most recent video I was putting some LED street lights for yard lighting in my rail yard. And I've had a few questions in the comments uh, about what I end up doing with the lights. So I thought I'd put together a video just talking about uh, LED lighting. And first of all, um, older model railroading, we used to use incandescent light bulbs, which were rated for 12 volts or whatever power supply we're running. And it was pretty simple. You just plug in the lights and they work as long as you got lights that are rated for the voltage. It's, it was pretty simple. And LED lighting is really not much more complicated, but for a lot of people, I think they think that it's more complicated because you need to put resistors in there uh, because the LED lights will burn up because most LED lights, as you buy them, are not rated for, for 12 volts. Um, and the reason being that most LED lights, the, the, the LEDs themselves are rated for somewhere between two to three volts. And if you're like me, you're using a 12 volt power supply. Now I'm using a 12 volt power supply, two of them actually, one for my lower deck and one for my upper deck. And to use LEDs on them, I have to put a resistor in the circuit so the LED doesn't burn out. Now, what does a resistor do? Very quickly, this is not a big electronic theory class. Resistors are just basically these little devices that resist the flow of electricity. That's about all. I mean, you can think of it almost like if you have a garden hose with a full amount of water coming in it and you kink the hose, you can reduce the amount of water flow going through it. And a resistor kind of does that sort of thing. If you put a resistor in the circuit, you can reduce the amount of power that's flowing through that circuit. And the resistor can go, in the case of these LEDs, it can go on either side of the LED. You're just reducing the amount of essentially the amount of electrical uh, power that's getting to the LED. Now, there are a lot of online charts and calculators and all kinds of things like that that will help you figure out exactly what resistor you should use in a electrical circuit to reduce the power for your device. Now, if you're using different voltage supplies and you're using different electric devices like LEDs or electric motors and all of th all of those kinds of things, the, the calculations can be a little bit more complex because you need to know the amount of voltage being drawn and the amount of amperage being drawn and, and all of that kind of thing. But honestly, all of that is, in the case of what we're doing here, is just confusing the issue. With LEDs, the amperage draw is negligible. They're very low amperage draw and that makes the calculations actually relatively simple. The voltage is what matters. Like I said, I'm using a 12 volt power supply. So everything I'm saying from here on applies to a 12 volt DC power supply with these LEDs. If you're using something else, that's a different story. But if you use a 12 volt DC power supply for your auxiliary lighting, what I'm gonna show you will apply and it makes it really simple. If you look at the online charts to use LEDs, with a 12 volt power supply, you'll find that most of them recommend that you use somewhere between a 430 and 470 ohm resistor with a white LED. With red LEDs, they will recommend up to a 510 ohm resistor. So the higher the number of the resistor, the more resistance it has, the more it drops down the power. So what I've done though, is I just bought a pack of 510 ohm resistors, 500 of them for $15. So that's three cents each for these little resistors. And these things are good to use on a red LED, but they will work on any, any LED. Using a 510 ohm resistor on a white LED is just fine. It may be a little bit more resistance than is called for to make that LED run as bright as it could possibly be, but adding the extra resistance just adds a safety factor to it. So 
what I'm doing is I'm just using these resistors on on absolutely everything that doesn't have a resistor resistor in it already. It just makes it really simple. What I've done here is I have set up four of my street lights that I bought. I bought these on line. They are I got them for twenty lights for sixteen dollars, so eighty cents each for these lights, and the resistors come out to three cents a piece. So. That's pretty cheap. Now what I've done is I have soldered one resistor to the negative lead of the first LED. And it, with DC power, you can always think of it that the power is coming in on the red and coming back out through the black. And they both need to be connected to the power supply. So in the case of this one, I will hook up to my, my negative lead. This is my 12 volt power supply for my one of my decks of my layout. And I've hooked the negative up to the resistor, and if I hook up the positive to the first LED, you'll see that the LED comes on, and that is running with just a single 510 ohm resistor on the negative side. If I had something like a 430 ohm resistor, the light would be a little bit brighter, but it's a nice bright white already. That's all we need. Now, what I've done is I've actually hooked up four of these in series just to show you something. When I hook them up in series, you can think of it this way, that the power comes in on the red, out the black, goes in the red of the next one, out the black, in the red of the next one, out the black, in the red, out here, through the resistor, and back to my power supply. So if I go to the next connection here, I will actually be running the power through both of these lights in series. And you can see they light up. It's running through both lights and the resistor. I just didn't get a good connection here because this clip, the cover keeps running down. So there, both lights are on. I don't know if you can notice in the camera, but both of these lights together on are slightly dimmer than if I run this light individually. But it's still okay. It still comes on, one 510 ohm resistor, two lights in series. If I connect a third light in series, all three lights come on, they work fine. They're starting to look a little bit dimmer and a little more yellow in color. That's three of them connected up through a single resistor. If I go to the fourth one, they are definitely not as bright and they're definitely looking a lot more yellow, a lot more of a warm white. And this is actually what I did in my rail yard. I took the 12 lights and I wired them up in three groups of four and each group had its own resistor to drop down the voltage. And I did this intentionally for two reasons. I didn't want the bright white light from the lights because I'm trying to model an older rail yard. So I wanted to get the light of the effect of older, more yellowish, not quite as bright street lights. And the second reason for it is now these lights are running at a much lower voltage than is optimal. So they're not going to heat up and they should last a lot longer. So it's, it's really simple. I just used a 510 ohm resistor. Here's another street light that I bought online, a little bit different style. Um, this one happens to be cool white. I wish it was warm white, but it's a cool white. Um, I just didn't read the description when I ordered it, but it has a bare wire, which is the negative, and the white, which is the positive. I hook it up. And I've got a 510 ohm resistor and it lights up just fine. So again, I could put a couple of these in series. It would be more dim, but just like this, it works just fine with the same 510 ohm resistor. Again, very inexpensive light that I found online. All of these lights, you can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them on AliExpress. And like I said, a pack of 20 of them uh, of these was seven bucks. And I think those are a similar kind of price. Very simple. Another example is this is a three color LED that I have uh, that I had just in the box. The center is the positive. I put the resistor on there. Or no, it's a two color LED. Um, and one side is green. The other side is red. Again, using the same 510 ohm resistor. These LEDs, you could use them to build your own little indicator lights or whatever. So those are the most inexpensive way to go. And by the way, if you want to buy just these bare little three millimeter, I've looked online, I don't have any here to show you, but you can buy these little three millimeter LEDs like this that are just loose white three millimeter LEDs on Amazon. You can buy a hundred of these for $7. So that's seven cents each. You take seven cents for the LED, 
three cents for the resistor. So for 10 cents each, you can have warm white LEDs you can put anywhere else, anywhere you want on your layout. You just need to do the wiring. Now, if you want a little bit more of a ready-made option, you can buy these LEDs, and these are pre-wired with a resistor in them. Again, hook them up directly to 12 volts because they have a resistor built into the wire. It's a warm white LED. I've been putting these in locomotives. I've been putting these in buildings. They're also available in a cool white. I buy these for 20 lights for $7. So it's 35 cents each with the resistor and the wires. Very easy. You can just put them in your buildings, glue them wherever you want. And then for the connections, what I'm doing is I'm taking these little wire connectors. I bought 20 pairs for $20 on Amazon. So one dollar a building what i do is inside the building i put as many of these lights as i want or other lights with resistors and then i wire all the negatives together all the positives together so these individual lights are all wired in parallel not series like here so i wire all the negatives together all the positives together so each light is receiving 12 volts i leave this connector hanging out of the bottom of the building and then on my layout i have these terminal blocks underneath so i will gang together one side with a negative bar, one side with a positive bar. I will run a power supply in, positive to one screw here, a negative here, and then I connect these wires. I may extend them with more wire, negative to one side, positive to the other side. And then when I want to plant my building in, this just goes through a small hole in the layout. I just plug my building into here and the building has lighting. You don't have to make it complicated. You don't have to do any math. If you have a 12 volt power supply, a 12 volt DC power supply, you can either buy these pre-wired LEDs with the resistors, roughly 35 cents a piece, or you can buy these street lights, either kind that don't have resistors, buy a pack of 510 ohm resistors and just plug them in. You can run one light off the resistor or multiple lights. Now I did a test, if I put five of these lights on a 510 ohm resistor, they no longer light up because there isn't enough power. It doesn't actually hurt anything, there just isn't enough power so they don't light up. With four or less, they all work. Now you can combine as many as you want together to get the brightness you want for the lights. For me, for my rail yard, I used four in a chain because I wanted that dim yellow lighting. If I wanted an area with brighter lighting, I could use less on the same resistor. Just putting a resistor in the line drops it down so the lights won't burn out, burn out and you're safe, but you can mix and match and, and, and try them. You, and there's nothing wrong with actually using one of these lights and one of these lights in series on a resistor, that will work as well. So don't be afraid of LED lighting. It's not that complicated. These 510 ohm resistors might not be optimal for a white light because maybe dropping down to 430 ohms would make it a little bit brighter. But unless you were looking for the brightest possible light you can get out of that, LED, these will work just fine. In terms of a power supply, you don't have to worry about how much, much amperage it puts out. As long as you have a 12 volt DC power supply, it will make these lights work. More amperage will not hurt the lights because the lights will only draw as much as they need. The only advantage a big power supply will give you is it means you can put more lights on them. So I looked, for example, these pre-wired lights are rated at 20 milliamps. I have a five amp power supply for one of my decks. So theoretically, doing the math, it means I could put 250 of these lights on that five amp power supply. Now, I don't think I would run 250 off one power supply, but it gives you an idea of how many you can run off them because the, the current draw on these is so low. With that five amp power supply, I can run anywhere from one to 250 of these lights and it makes no difference these LEDs will only draw 20 milliamps regardless of how much power the power supply is putting out. What matters is that it puts out 12 volt DC. So when it comes to choosing a power supply, bigger is better because it means you can run more LEDs on it. Make sure it has 12 volts DC. Higher amperage means you can run more LEDs on it. The LEDs will only draw as much power as they need. And having a higher amperage power supply will not blow up your LEDs. It just means you can plug in more LEDs without hurting the power supply. That's all. It's really simple. So don't get too confused with this. Um, if you are hooking up LEDs to a 12 volt DC power supply, 
510 ohm resistors will just keep you safe no matter which LEDs you use or how many of them you put in there. If you buy these pre-wired LEDs that have a resistor and that they're rated for 12 volts with the resistor, they're simple. You just hook them up like regular light bulbs. Just remember the polarity matters on all of these. If it's a black wire, the black is a negative, the yellow, or on some of them, the red is the positive. Um, if you hook them up backwards, the LED just won't come on. And if you hook them up and the light doesn't come on, just very quickly make sure that you didn't hook them up backwards. For example, if I have them in series like this, and I have this going to the negative and this going to the positive, but one of the lights in the chain is backwards, none of them will come up. Hopefully this is helpful. Um, hopefully it's not too confusing. LEDs are not a complicated thing to work with. Just put a good resistor in there and then you can use them like a regular light bulb. Just keep in mind that polarity does matter. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.